Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, if this is your first time here. And today's video is going to be a back to school makeup look um, using mostly drugstore items. The only thing that I used that was higher end was my bronzer and I didn't even show that. So <laughs> if you wanna see how you can get this look, please keep watching. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Brow Powder. I have it in the shade Ash Brown and I really like this because it comes with two different colors. It has this lighter color right here and you can tell which one I use a lot. This one and this lasts a very long time like the product does and when I'm in a hurry I find it's pretty easy to just brush through my brows real quick and then I'm out the door. And that's usually it for my brows. Since I'm not gonna be doing that much with my eyes, I'm gonna go into base next. So for primer, and this is a step you, if you're really in a rush, you can skip. I usually skip it most days as well. But for today, I'm going to use, go in with my Master Prime from Maybelline and just go over my T-zone and my problem areas basically. So my makeup will last longer. For foundation today, I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I'm in the shade D40, and I really love the finish this foundation gives me. Um, it's a nice medium to full coverage. The only thing is, I can't tell if it's making me break out or not. Like, I have to test it out a few more times, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's making me break out or not. So today, I haven't been wearing that much makeup this week, so. This is gonna be like the final test. If it makes, if I break out after today, I'm gonna to know it's this. So I'm gonna take my damp Real Technique sponge and blend that in. When I was in high school, I did none of this. On a good day, I just put on mascara. I didn't even fill in my brows. So it's funny seeing kids today get all into makeup and stuff. Now I'm going to go into concealer. I'm going to be taking my Age Rewind from Maybelline. And I'm going to be putting a very small amount under my eyes. Because I'm moving away from the overly highlighted look. I just want my under eye effects to be covered and brighten a little bit. And sometimes when I think it's too bright, I'll go in with a little bit of foundation to tone it down a bit. And then taking my Real Technique sponge again and blending it out. See now it's not overly highlighted. It's taking away the darkness under my eye. Can't believe this is our first year. I'm making a back to school video and I'm not in school. It's really weird. Three of my sisters started college already and I'm not doing anything. It's crazy. And before I set everything, I want to go in with the cream highlighter. This is from ColourPop and it's the shade Glow Up from the K-pop collection. I don't think they have this anymore, but this has lasted me a long time. And it's one of my favorite cream products. I'm gonna take that a little bit on my brow bone as well. I'm gonna be taking my Holy Grail powder from the drugstore and it's the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Medium Deep. And I don't like to bake on a daily basis, so I just take whatever's on a cap Tap it in there, tap off the excess, and then just go under my eyes really quickly. And that ensures that the concealer doesn't move throughout the day, but also when I set everything with the setting spray, I don't end up looking like I did the most. I also like to set the front of my brows too because that gets pretty oily throughout the day. So Now for contouring, I always contour. I can't not contour. So I'm going to be taking the NYX palette. This is the only um, thing that I have that's dark enough. That's from the drugstore. 
And I go in with the deepest shade right here and hollow out my cheekbones. The only thing I don't have um, that's from the drugstore is a bronzer. Um, it's pretty hard for me to find stuff that'll work from the drugstore, but then again, I haven't been out shopping in a while. If you guys have any recommendations for brown girl friendly bronzers, let me know. Now I'm gonna take this blush from Essence. It's in the shade Satin Love. And it's really pretty pinky color. I'm just gonna pop it on the apples of my cheeks real quick. Just for some more color. And I'm going to set my face before I highlight with the Mario Badescu spray. And then before everything dries, uh, I'm taking my Master Chrome and Molten Gold. I really want to try the other shades like Molten Topaz and the Peach one. But that's what I have right now. Put that on the tops of my cheekbones. For school, like I want, I'd want it to be more of a subtle glow. Put it on there. To my nose, the tip of my nose. So basically, that's the base all done. And I'm just gonna do real quick for my eyes. My eyelids get oily regardless, so I want to put. A little bit of primer on them so they don't get oily throughout the day. And on days when I want to look like I tried with my eyes, I take whatever contour powder I use for the day and I'll just run it all in. Do like a soft everyday smoky eye and then I'll be sure to put it under my lash line as well now for days when I don't wear eyeliner I take extra care with my lashes so I'm gonna be taking the total temptation mascara from Maybelline and I'm gonna be running that through my top and bottom lashes. Now you can leave your eyes like this and that already, mascara already made a big difference in the look but I'm going to go the extra mile and add some lashes. These are the Ilora lashes in the style Golden Goddess and I get these from Target. They're really affordable um, faux mink lashes. But before I put the lashes on, I want you guys to see the full look without lashes. So I'm going to be taking a everyday lip combo that I like to do. Um, two of them are, are the lippies are from Maybelline. I have the Superstay Matte Ink in Protector and the Vivid Hot Lip Lacquer in Unreal. And then I want to top it off with this gloss from Shayla in ColourPop. It's in the style Neat Freak. So this is the look without lashes. It's very fresh and put together. And I can usually do this in 10 minutes. Um, 15 <laughs> if I'm taking a longer time on my eyebrows but yeah this is what I'll usually do on an everyday basis but I'm gonna go to lashes now so this is what the look would look like with lashes as you can see it's a dramatic difference but this is not I wouldn't do this every day 
for school unless you wanted to but um, once you get the hang of it it doesn't take that long but it's for when you want to make a bold statement um, these are bolder lashes of course if you want to do the more natural approach I love the Ardell Demi Wispies or um, you can also get them in a pack of five for like 11 or 12 dollars I like the shade um, the shade. What's the style? Uh, 11. I really like that. So yeah, this is the fun look guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video and good luck as you start this school year. I hope this routine was helpful as you, um, you know, go into the year. And if you want to see more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!